Hi guys, this is Jason Zack from Nathaniel School of Music. Welcome back to part 2. Hope you've watched part 1 where we looked at how to form 7th chords using nothing but triads and a another note in the bass, what we call a slash chord. So do head over and watch part 1 if you haven't already. In this particular lesson, we are going to look at how to form modal chords. So a chord which brings out the flavor of an entire set of notes uh, which a mode will have, seven notes. So let's say if you take this sound, it inspires us to play a bigger scale even though the notes of this chord are just about four in number a scale has seven notes in number so this is a is a good system to inspire not only that mode but then a lot of other modes which can be supported alongside that particular chord so for this lesson we'll just take the modes of the major scale that would be Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian and uh, Locrian. Ionian is at 1, Dorian is the second degree of the major scale, Phrygian is at the third degree, Lydian is at the fourth, Mixolydian is at the fifth, Aeolian is at the sixth and lastly Locrian is at the seventh degree. Now, I've covered the theory of modes. We have a video which explores modes from two perspectives. That's from the in the relative context from the major scale and then the degrees and all that and also using the mode as its own entity okay so do check out that in the description there are also some nice piano videos on how to play modes and how to practice modes so we've done a lot of that on our channel so in this lesson it's primarily dedicated towards a triad with another bass which can serve that mode the best so before we get started it'll be nice if you can consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the bell icon for regular notifications let's get cracking so first off the ionian scale also known as the major scale we need a key also. In the earlier part, we took the key of D. Now, let's change it. Let's take the key of G. So, G Ionian. Pretty much G major. Right? So, if you take the G major scale, a good way to represent the Ionian mode would first of all be to focus on the, the 4 and to focus on the 7. The 7 natural major 7th and the perfect 4th. So that itself is a nice Ionian flavor out there. But we are going to be talking about triads and how that can also be Ionian. But I wanted to show you that the 4 and the 7 is very important when you are formulating an Ionian sound. And all of these modes would be over a very repetitive structure, a drone of a chord. It's not going to be a chord progression, not too big a chord progression at least it'll just be a very repetitive sound and that inspires the musician to play the mode a mode is very similar to a raga in that context okay so what triads would work for ionian it's very simple and we are following the same strategy of part one where you're going to go up or down a certain interval and play a triad be it major or minor so for ionian you go up a perfect fourth what is G upper perfect fourth? It's C, right? And you play C major over G. It's a very plagal sound, very four sound. Okay? Because it wants to pull back to the one. You could also do a D over G, which is a more Ionian sound to me. So you can do D major over G. So what is happening there? You go up a perfect fifth and play D major. You can even do that as a stride. As I showed you in the earlier part. So that will free up your right hand. Okay. So that's an Ionian sound. So uh, you can play it as an accompanist. Just go G in your bass, bass. C in the treble. You can play it with any inversion under the sun just three under the sun so C major then you do D major in whichever inversion and it's a pretty good Ionian flavor so now let's move in order from the uh, modes of the major scale so Dorian Dorian I have three options for you uh, because triads may not 
always work with just only that one triad. You'll have to combine it with more of them. So Dorian, again, I'm picking the key of G. I'm not going to A Dorian, which is the second degree of G. I'll keep to the key of G and now figure out some Dorian chords. The first thing is a pretty simple one, the minor seventh, which I formed already earlier. You go up a minor third and play a major chord. So that could be a very Dorian sound. What is the Dorian scale, first of all? Flat three and major sixth. Minor third, major sixth. There we go, that's your Dorian. And the chord which can serve it very well in a very simple manner could be go up a minor third and play a major chord. There we go. So another voicing for the Dorian or another slash chord for the Dorian would be a C major slash G. This highlights the natural or the major sixth and what you can do is play it in any inversion. So how do we get this? How do we remember this? You just go up a fourth and play a major chord. The only challenge here doesn't give you a flat three. So we have one chord which kind of gives you the best of both worlds. The uniqueness of the third and the uniqueness of the sixth. The sixth natural. So that will be E diminished over G. So this contains obviously G. Contains the minor third. And it contains the major sixth. La da da da. That's your Dorian with an E diminished up top. So you go up a major sixth and play diminished. Up major sixth, G, upper major sixth is E, play it's diminished and retain the G in the bottom. Okay, moving on to the uh, a mode I enjoy or have been enjoying in recent times, the, the Phrygian mode. It's a very Spanish sounding scale and what will happen is I have two chords because one is a major, one is a minor and both sound equally awesome. So you take G, again it's G is, is our root for today's lesson. Let's first form the Phrygian. What is this Phrygian first of all? Flat 2, flat 3, flat 6, flat 7. Okay, flat 2, flat 3, flat 6, flat 4 flats. Uh, very similar to minor or aeolian, but we have a flat 2. Okay, so a good way to get G Phrygian would be A flat over G or F minor over G. So I want to stress on that flat 2. That's very unique for me. And maybe even the minor 6th so this is a good chord flat 2 major or I can do an F minor which has a minor 7th perfect 4th and that flat 2 major that's very Phrygian okay so you can do A flat over G F minor over G and it it inspires the Phrygian mode immediately la da 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 de de, la da de 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 de. Maybe an F minor over G. The minor chord feels very stable when you resolve back to it, right? So that's about Phrygian. Now I am grouping Mixolydian and Lydian in our study. Lydian is mode number 4 of major and Mixolydian is the mode 5 of major. Let's first get an idea of those scales. Lydian is a major scale with a raised 4th. So that's a C sharp versus normal C. And Mixolydian is a major scale with a flat 7. That's an F there. So Lydian, Mixolydian. There we go. So now to get a nice Lydian chord, you just move up a major second and play a major. Go up a major two and play a major, you get yourself Lydian. 
to get a mixolydian chord you go down to and play again a major so upper major 2 you play major down a major 2 you play a major chord so g lydian could be an a slash g a major in the right hand and g in the left hand or a as your triad and g continues to be a steady bass so That's your flat seven, which you need to bring in there, right? You could also call this like a G seven sus four or a very eleventh kind of sound, and since it's a seventh chord, it wants to resolve. it's one so you can treat this also as the five going to to the one and it becomes a very gospel embellishment to to do a lot of modulations and scale changes and stuff like that if you want me to do a lesson on modulation do let us know in the comments that'll be fun to do it sometime soon so again just to recap lydian you go up a major two play a major chord get lydian mixolydian you go down a major two or to the minor seventh and you play a major seventh over the same g that would be your mixolydian sound okay so again we've focused primarily on slash chords so a triad with another bass let's utilize the same methodology and do the last two modes aeolian and locrian aeolian is very popular locrian is extremely rare at least i have not heard it very often aeolian first of all you want to highlight let's take g you want to highlight the minor 3rd and you want to highlight the minor 6th okay and this is a nice way to form it again a quartal voicing i've sneak that in it's it's a nice way to bring out the aeolian you can see some of my videos on quartal chords which basically uses fourths in this case a perfect fourth and an augmented fourth to give you all the representing notes of the aeolian mode but if you want to build this with triads you can do upper four minor very dark sound if you want something very pensive and sad so it's c minor slash g and if you want to bring in that minor sixth element with some hope Ideally combine, and I'm holding down my pedal in order to do this striding, so that my root is con continuously ringing. Lastly, let's look at Locrian. So, lo G Locrian, if we have to form it, it has a lot of flats. So, flat two, flat three, perfect fourth. So, that's not flat. Tritone. So, no perfect fifth. We have a diminished fifth in here. M minor sixth, minor seventh. So, the way I look at Locrian is to just keep it simple. and just look at a chord which works very well with it that would be a minor 7th flat 5 so to form it you can even it's very similar to what we discussed earlier to get in the earlier part how you form 7th chord so now i just want a minor 7th flat 5 so to get a minor 7th flat 5 what is the rule you go up a minor 3rd in this case b flat and play a minor chord there we go so be a nice minor 7th flat 5 you can also invert it that will be a good practice and over this the locrian could work perfect fourth tritone you get that sound
Okay, so these are striads with another note in the base, of course. You can call them as slash chords. And in this particular chapter, we've looked at how you can bring out a modal flavor. So just to give you a quick brief on what we'll be ending up doing there, we look at some altered chords using just simple triads. We'll also look at bringing out some of the jazz tensions, the 9, 11, 13, 9 flat, 9 sharp, 11 sharp, and um, some interesting flavors for sure. So let's head over to part 3 and uh, before we do it'll be nice if you can consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the bell icon for regular notifications and my notes are waiting for you on our Patreon channel. Cheers, catch you in the next one.